and he forces you to play the game that he wants you to play. She's very adept with that with characters like Martha Lucina. And that's the one thing I've always appreciated about him is that he moves a specific way. He's so defensive of a specific way, but he he's one of the few players that I tell people, if you're not ready for him, he plays the game so differently than you do. And he's one of those players that he just needs to get out there a little bit more and he will be one of the players that become a pretty strong threat here. But we will see, like I said, Yosha is either was on the Fox or the Wolf. Aladdin either on the Marth or we've seen a Marth also one of those characters that did receive a very very good recent buff into some of the hitbox. Yeah, I was just gonna bring that up and like uh, you know obviously Lucida being a very strong type of character, you know that she is. But like I have so much respect for Aladdin uh, pulling out Marth because I personally just love to see people who can play an optimal Marth. I love watching MK Leo, Mr. E, like anyone who has those strong marks that like they know the spacing, they know the confirms and stuff like that. Like it is so to be perfect. Yeah. It, it is so much more entertaining to watch and like I wanna like pop off floor of them. Yeah. For a lot in there, like you said, spacing here, you can see that spacing at the ledge. He's looking to see when Yoshi's making the first move. He looks to whip punish his opponent, but also, even though there's a deficit, it's the way that Valadin still also looks to whip punish, you know, Yosha. He's able to get that parry into the forward smash and reads where Wolf is lining afterwards. Like I said, he's not one to falter in your game. He forces you to play his game. He's not going to go for that role. He's still going to be able to get that punish, even though you have a lead. Valadin is one of those players, like, he's not afraid to stand there and look to play neutral. Yeah, speaking from experience, uh, having played him in the last year, you really feel him trying to control uh, the pace of the match. And it's honestly like a, it's honestly it's honestly looked like the best way I can describe it is like a dance. Like, yeah. like going back and forth like the way he uh, he fades in and out and like the way the tide changes. Like obviously that goes for any match, but like he is a specific uh, contender where I can really, really uh, feel the that. Yeah, I don't know. you can feel uh, definitely Yosha feeling the test of that neutral will be there. Uh, still able to survive here, 74. Yosha goes for that forward throw, looking to get something against Valadin. I do like that change up for the forward here, trying to see if you can read Valadin, but I think a neutral would have been a good catch. Up tilt to stop Valadin from an aerial, and I like that Yosha slowly catching on here. You don't want you don't want to let Marth get that forward here at that distance at the ledge here. If he is tipper, he will be able to come back. Yosha's got to watch himself for the recovery, and I do like that change going for that angle. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected that. That's a solid start. All right, nice. Yosher a little bit here on the small lead in terms of stage control, 51 to 123. If Yosher is able to just get two good uh, hits on him, even a combo, he will be looking pretty even on the ladder, especially with how strong Wolf's knockback is. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, these buffs uh, really, really, really uh, trying to improve their point. Uh, with uh, Rocky Little Damage. All right, he's looking for a tilt. There it is. That's going to be that tipper for a tilt. That's what I'm saying. The ladder isn't. If you say he dances, I say he leads the dance because he's always looking to be the one in, in the lead here. But Yosher was able to get the ladder here to 99. I want to see how Yosher takes the stop here. It's a down throw. I like that. Yosher doesn't go for an air dodge just yet because he knows the ladder might be strong to read it. But he's got to watch this landing here. The ladder has got an 83. That's unnecessary damage, which Yosher was not looking for. Good dash attack to punish that forward smash. And look at that spacing. He's looking to respect anything from an aerial to that neutral B. That's an up throw. Good change up trying to get a DI mix up here. But I would have liked the back throw just so he can actually punish his opponent and look to get stage control and set up into a stage, uh, edge guard. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I'm noticing uh, Milan's uh, movement in, this, uh, in the air specifically. Uh, not only is he stalling, but he's noticing the edge Yosha is kind of uh, uh, following his uh, DI quite strongly, and then he'll, uh, he'll mix up with different uh, with landings uh, and stuff like that, which is super good. Um, but one thing I've also noticed is that with the, uh, with the buff, like, he has been putting on so much damage with the up tilt a lot, yeah. and it's been confirming into the speed spot in the up air. That's um, the thing about the way that Yosher we can see him playing Wolf too, right? Like, he'll go for an aerial, he'll try to go for an aerial, try to go for fair. That up tilt Look at how so, patient it is. Yeah, Look at how I'm like, not... You like people may be surprised, like wow, what? but I I see this on the daily. I'm not kidding. I've had Vladimir come over to my house. I have taken him to tournaments. I have hung out with him personally. He's not just patient in the game. He's patient as a human being. That is the craziest thing about him. Like those call, like see, that's the second time like Yosher just hung on the ledge and just got up and he just ate the sweet spot tipper. There, and there's three things that. to note on oh. that one. It's the spacing the patience 
but also the control in which he can do that. And that control goes along with spacing so well. He knows where he's at. He knows if he goes for a specific Whoa. tilt, how much will it cover? You want to picture Martha and Lucina's hitboxes like a circle, like a big circle or bubble around Martha and Lucina, because that's the way that they operate. And you look to push that circle closer to your opponent, because that's the best range you can get against them. When it's Marth, you want the very edge of that circle, AKA the tipper. And if it's Lucina, it's anywhere you want it because he has such a consistent hitbox. But what a tech read on that opportunity against Yoshi as he goes for that up tilt. It's so good because it also hits in front and behind and above Marth. That's three spots. Yeah, like this is literally the stuff that like people have come out here to see. Like this sort of, uh, this caliber of offline play. Like there's just, there's just nothing like it. Which is why I'm like, I'm so happy to be back and like be here. The energy is great, the crowd's over here, interactive, everybody's watching, stakes are high, uh, and it's just, it's just so cool to see uh, these players uh, again, and I, I just like, I can't just express how fun this is. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure Vlad and his happy to be able to play against his opponents uh, for sure offline. As you can tell, he still has a little bit of a lead here against Yoshi. Yoshi looking to get back on the stage. I do like that Wolf Flash. Just looking at that positioning of where Valadin was, able to narrowly escape our smash there, because that hitbox does start from from Mars feet into the main hitbox. Good for good for Yoshi here. Look at that drift a little bit. Looking to get in and out of Valadin's range, but unfortunately, at the starting frame, Valadin will connect that forward. So that forward tilt is so good for you to land the tipper. This is because it's just as strong as Mars forward smash, and not even faster. Yeah. Um but uh, actually, okay, very good, uh, very good club spot for that. But one of the interesting things I've also heard, uh, just from like reading on Twitter and other people who play uh, Mars, is that you know uh, one of the buffs came in the form of a nerf, and that was with the uh, the down tilt. Someone told me like the down tilt was also uh, one of the yeah. ones that was that was like, buffed. Um, but apparently, it made it a little bit harder for him to uh, to sweep the, like, the sweet spot like uh, Tipper. Um, it's made him lose a little bit more control of his technique yeah. because of the uh, the knockback and pushes them back a little bit too farther. Because some of that bar fly uh, excelled at uh, before. And I, I don't think it's that drastic, but I've heard uh, it definitely made people choose other options uh, in a lot more cases where before it was other yeah, and from Aladdin, we do see a little bit of that down tilt there. It's mostly really good at the ledge or the to test chase, but I like that Aladdin is looking to cover Yoshi's landing with either a Nair or that side special. Good spot dodge, able to try to go for the opportunity here. No upbeat hit, because that would have been so strong to put up the strong against Yoshi. Oh, yeah, this is a backer, too, to put up that stock. Good to see from Aladdin. Yeah, Yoshi, I think a little bit different here. He's got a stage control and a little bit of a, a stock lead here, and he wants to keep pulling that against Aladdin. I do like that he tries to go for a blaster, Forcing to see how Valadin jumps, but you don't want to challenge Valadin's mark in the air. What a down smash on the tech chase! Because if Yoshi tech rolled in, which you normally want to do as a reaction to avoid getting sent towards the ledge, Valadin covered that with down smash. Right, he dashed out knowing that uh, Ed, or, I guess he's calling out Ed Yoshi's uh, high uh, flash attack and then just like chased after him with that perfectly safe uh, down smash. Uh, oh no, Yoshi's Yoshi. Yeah, again on their last dogs. Yeah, watch out. He's feeling the pressure. He goes for forward and upper. Yoshi's going to watch out for the landing here. Looking to move center stage. We're landing with the very grab. Back throw. I like that. Look to, look to get stage control again. And, the, and yeah, that forward tilt. Haze the bills. 